got Yasser here though. Uh, we try to catch you away with Yasser. After, uh, we'll catch you with Yasser. Yasser, uh, you transferred to Finest. How did that come about? I don't know. It was a last minute thing. Uh, Aki just made a phone call and uh, I'm here, back home again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, back home then? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, Dream Team folded. Uh, uh, you know, unforeseen circumstances with Moyne. <clears throat> nine, nine game ban or whatever it was, five seasons ban, whatever it might be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what are the hopes tonight? What, how are the boys feeling in the camp? You know what? Everyone's pretty relaxed. Uh, pressure is on underdogs. They're doing really well. Um, just going to go out and enjoy ourselves and, you know, hope for the best. But, yeah, don't take anything away from underdogs. Obviously, they're there for a reason. They're at the top. Uh, we just go and play our game. And, yeah, pressure's on them, not us. Who's, but who's um, underdogs key man? They've got a, a lot of good players over there. But who do you think the one's got, who's got to be stopped today for you to get anything out of the game? Well, Bobby's been leading goal scorer for the past, like, three or four seasons. But I think Ozzy will probably be the main man with no Hasib there. Ozzy and uh, Ali Majidi will probably pull strings. Um, but I think, don't be surprised if you see, you know, someone who's scoring that you wouldn't expect, like Ali Reza, or if you're thinking that maybe Saul might score. I know they're not regular scorers, but yeah, don't be surprised. All right, good luck in the game, Yas. Nice to see you again. Well, we can see the crowd has really built up. It shows you the magnitude of this game today. Underdogs who were pummeled 4-2 by TSCI. They were leading that game 2-0 at one stage, and TSCI came out of nowhere and managed to get four goals. It was the first time that underdogs have conceded four goals in a game since they were pummeled 5-1 by TSCI in week 15 of season 8. So this is going to be a real test of underdogs' resolve. Can they bounce back? It's 13, 13, uh, 12 wins in 13. 12 wins in 13 since they lost a touch of class last season. And the game's Manchester's finest. And it's going to be... Uh, K K Am? Looking for Aki Tayyipshah. Zuner. Am. This is a good fast paced start by Manchester's finest. Zipping it around. Zuner cleared away by Sahil. Underdogs pen back in this for, for the first few moments. Jahan back at Manchester's finest. He was uh, part of their title winning uh, team in season, season three. Ali Majid is back in the scene. They really missed him um, on Monday. Here's Bobby. Given away. Ali Reza has also given it away. Mazar. Aki. Manchester's finest captain. Back towards Jahan. Zinair. Good ball to find Aki. Am's the only one in the middle for Aki. Aki goes for goal! Sinner with a save with his feet. Sinner also reinstated after he was missing on Monday. Bobby makes his way back here. Underdogs got everyone back here. Aki is the man who's going to take this. Aki, headed away by Ali Reza, put his head in the area of danger. Winning that battle and going for a pile driver. He scored! Manchester's finest save the lead against the wounded underdogs. It took a deflection. Sinner was wrong footed. Manchester's finest lead. Bobby, this is a big battle on for underdogs now because the TSCI game was the run, was the start of a run of very tough fixtures. After this, they've got some of that and then finishing off the gold, uh, the regular season 11 games with a game against Toucher Class. A gap which was five points at the start of the night could only be two points and they would have played one game more than Galacticos. And TSCI are playing on the other pitch against Manchester's Cosmos. And if TSCI, who've got their big guns back with Rahan playing today, could also close their own gap to two points as well. So Hill also going to join the mixer there. So it's the land of the Giants in that penalty area. Forward. Jahan won that header. Jaffer. But here's Minaz again. He's accompanied by fellow dentist uh, Jaffer there, who's intimidated enough to see the ball go out of play. Galacticos captain. Into the middle towards Bobby Rizvi, who's hounded out there. Dawood driving forward again. Aki, our finest in again. Ali Reza. Aki. And Dawood trying to conjure up a situation where they can get a second goal. Majidi. Underdogs finding it difficult to get control of the game, but here comes Ali Reza forward. Jaffer's made the middle run. Jahan. Oh, it's a one-on-one -on -one here with Aki. 
against Diab. Oh, and he's turned him, and Diab with a poor challenge. That's occasion by, by Ian, but Manchester's finest have certainly got underdogs on the ropes. A second goal would certainly make things very, very interesting. As the league leaders are rocking. Aki lifts it in. Zune, Jahan's around the back. The Yub pressurised straight away, but they dig themselves out of that situation. Ali Majidi. Oh, he's also felled now, this time by Daoud. Um, there's only so much abuse Ian's going to take before Hasim might get escorted out of it and sent to the stands. Sahil this time, trying to take charge of the situation. Bobby had it from the right-hand side. Here's Sahil into the wall, just like Bobby's. Dayub cushions it. Ali Majidi. Ooh, he tried to knock for the ball. Al Am um, is one-on-one. -on -one. Gaki! <laughs> Underdogs have imploded here. Right before our very eyes. Yeah. Ali Majidi was the furthest man back and he was on the edge. The Yip shall be very disappointed that his team's responded in the wrong way. They should be the ones 2 0 up, but they're 2 0 down to Manchester's finest who've cut them open. And Waxi making a real hash of that situation. Majidi, who was tackled by Am in the build up to. Manchester Finest second goal, which was a defensive catastrophe from underdogs' point of view. Bobby trying to shrug Jahan off. And he's, it's Jahan into space for Aki. They've got acres of space here on the counter attack, Manchester's Finest. He's won a corner off the. Uh, they're all over the shop here, underdogs defensively. Zuner just trotting over to take it. Manchester's Finest finding themselves in a position they would have bit your left and your right arm off for at the start of the day. 2 no up inside 10 minutes. Jahan, cushions. That's a tackle by Dawood. Drive by Majidi. The ball's broken again for Zanair, who's picked Aki out in a very good position. I'm running onto it. Oh, and it's somehow not gone into the back of the net. Aki's retrieved it. Who's found uh, Jaffa via the nutmeg on Ian. Oh, and Jaffa with an immediate ball, almost finding Bobby Rizvi. Aki, who's done so well uh, so far, the finest skipper. The Yapshar's throwing. Bobby Rizvi. No support for him in this attack at the moment. Still Bobby, waiting for runners. Looking for Ozzy. It's ricocheted his way. Good tackle by Jahan. Minas, I'm um, digging it out. Minas chasing his own touch. The yup. Lifting it in. Was Waxi got a hand to that? He did. Arms coming off. It's more of a defensive substitution. Finest are very happy with they have. Arms done very well in the game he's played so far. Ozzy's corner towards the back post. Zuner and Dawood were competing as to who's going to clear it. And here's Ali Raza. Finest can uh, filter out now. Ali. Jaffa takes it under control. His heavy chest is retrieved. Ali Majidi. Ali Raza. Majidi wants it back. Gets it back. Not a lot of options there. Not a lot of space. But Majidi creates his own space. Fries it into the middle. It's gone to Aki. This playing right into Finest's hand here with the counter-attack. The Yapshar going across. And it's a goal kick. Yes, it is. Zunair won that. So far, Manchester's Finest have... Executed whatever their game plan was superbly well. It was to soak up the pressure, trigger the counter attack, but they wouldn't have dreamt of the space that they had for the second goal. Here's Yasser. Zuner, walking pace finest at the moment. Dawood. They've got two men in that in that space. Does it give Bobby Rizvi that much room? Yasser with the one-two. Mazur. Because they've got so many guys in the middle. Stretch them. Stretch them, man. Ozzy tell Ozzy to get out here. Jaffer. Oh, Waxy spilt it. Bobby. Majidi. It's a good tackle by Dawood. Winning that battle against Ali Majidi. Aki. Oh, if that turn came off, he was one on one with Ali Raza. Aki. Here's Yasser. Aki. Mazar. Cleared by Tayyab before Aki could run onto it. 
Aki seems to be everywhere at the moment. Ali Majidi. Bobby Rizvi. Ozzy's made a wide right run. Bobby. Jaffer. Drop deeper. Jaffer! Waxy spilled it again. The goalkeeper's not doing too well here. He's spilling a lot of simple balls. If they could get one on target, they could really create a goal here out of nothing. Much similar to the goal that Chido had. Short corner. Ali Raza lifted in. No, he's not. He's looked for Ali Majidi in space. Ali Majidi goes for goal. Waxy with his feet this time. Bobby! It's in! A goal out of nothing for underdogs. Waxy saving with his feet. Only as far as Bobby, who's fumbled it home. Manchester's fine is pegged back 2 1 as a rampant Hasiz finds his way onto the pitch. Hasiz banned for three games, but that's not stopping him from turning up here to cheer on the troops. Oh, Dawood dilly dallying on it, but he won the dummy there. Aussie with a great interception. Aussie driving. Bobby. Aussie! What a last ditch challenge, Bobby! What a challenge at the end there to deny Aussie. An absolute goal on so a plate. Kept Bobby very quiet. But here's Bobby now. Ozzy! Great block by Minas. Yasser. That's a simple ball to Aki. His poor ball is intercepted by Jaffer. Ali Majidi. This is end to end stuff now. Majidi. Majidi! Good save again by Waxi with his feet this time. Dayub. Jaffer. Who's dropped off from his striker role. Majidi is the furthest man back. Shows the impetus that other dogs have in attack. Sahil! It was a brilliant reverse pass by Ali Raza. Sahil wasn't expecting it. And that 10 pass move almost got the goal it deserved. Waxi's the man who's uh, find himself troubled, uh, more trouble of the goalkeepers. Despite his team winning 2 1, he's made a couple of uh, shaky saves. And his save with his foot ricocheted to Bobby, the man on the ball, up against Arm, who's Manchester's finest, most dangerous player. Bobby wants to take this long throw. Normally he's the fox in the box. Bobby with a good long throw. Headed away by Jahan. Ali Raza running onto it. He's set up too high for him for taking a shot. Great touch by Am. Aki. Am's bursting into the middle. Muzzer's at the far post. Yasser's made a run at the edge of the area. Yasser. Muzzer. Here is um, Zunair. Manchester's finest in their traditional white jersey. Amir. Bobby, good first touch. Oh, brilliant ball into space for Ozzy. Ozzy Yunus. Jaffer. Jaffer Jassim. Somehow, it's gone just wide after Waxy had made a bit of a save. First half of the first half was Manchester's finest, playing with uh, attacking zest, counter-attacking pace. Uh, when Am went off, uh, underdogs grew into the game a bit more and got their goal. Could they get another one? Aussie in space! Saved by Waxi! He clawed that one out. And that brings an end to a very entertaining first half. Underdogs will be happier with the way they play towards the end. Uh, but they'll need to get that goal because at the moment things aren't looking too bright for the league leaders and season six champions. They're going to have to come back from 2 0 down, which is what happened to them against TSCI. We were going to question before the game. We had we had a question before the game whether underdogs were going to feel the after effects of that. Was there going to be a backlash or had their confidence taken a bit of a nosedive? At the start of the game, it was uh, the latter because they found themselves 2 0 down in no time. And the second goal was an absolutely catastrophic goal. It's not an understatement to say that that was. Uh, uh, an embarrassment for even a schoolboy team. You know, they find themselves in a situation where they're attacking. The furthest man back is Ali Majidi, who's in their own half. He is tackled. Am brings the counter attack um, and he finds Aki. Uh, it was a two on one situation, and Manchester's finest thought they were in dreamland at that time. However, you know, because they're playing underdogs, uh, the best uh, team in the league with the, bo uh, with the most talented individuals, Aki thought we could bring on Yasser to try and shore up the game. That in turn, uh, brought a bit of its own uh, disadvantages as underdogs got more of the possession, they had more shots. Waxy was troubled, he made a couple of saves with his arms that trickled wide out for corners. They sensed that nervousness in the goalkeeper and Ali Majidi from that corner after uh, took a shot, Waxy saved with his feet and Bobby just turned home the rebound. Uh, Mo, what do you think of the game? I think the finest have been on top so far and I think the goal was a bit 
poor to concede, but really, I think I think finalists have been on top. OK, thank you for that, Mo. Right. Our side has been brought out in, on this second, in the second half. Um, so Hill's come off. It's a tactical substitution, I think. He's trying to shore the defence up, which has looked quite frail. Ali Majidi on the left-hand side. Oh, that's good. Ali Majidi cuts it back towards Ozzy, who's now in his yellow uh, Barcelona top after taking his PSG top off. Uh, true mercenary of the sport here, uh, Ozzy. Here's a uh, good piece of skill. Uh, Majidi's uh, still got the ball. professional foul there. Who didn't make uh, the full... Uh, use of that situation. Zunair. Aki. Good one, two. Yasser. Too much for Yasser there on that side. Despite uh, view this game. Long kick by... Oh, he's hit the crossbar. I I'm not sure. We'll have to dive into the rule books to see if that goal would have counted. But Sinner certainly looks nervous. Bobby. Oh, good ball. Jaffa no control with his hand. And he does that. It's 2-2. Two, two. Well, Sinner thanking the crossbar there. He's bounced off the crossbar. Assad uh, took the ball forward. It was a superb control by Jaffer on his chest. He loops it into the middle. And Assad and Ali Reza steaming onto it. In off the crossbar. And he's ended up in the net. Underdogs are level again. Can find the score again. Dawood, good ball looking for Yasser. But it wasn't... Uh, it was only intercepted by Assad. Ozzy, Jaffer, Ali Majidi. Hauled down by uh, Jahan there, who is furious at that decision. Majidi with this free kick. Uh, TSCI 2 0 up against Cosmos. So they'll be closing the gap to three points on underdogs if underdogs only get a draw here. Majidi! Aki! Dawood, poor. Panicking. Ozzy! Ozzy's done it! There's the goal! Bobby Rizvi has scored! Bobby Rizvi tailing on the magic! Buries it into the bottom of the onion bag! 3 2 to underdogs! That's the champion spirit! Dawood's poor touch! Ozzy capitalised on it. Release Bobby, who beats Jahan and buries it. There's nothing Waxy can do about it. And Manchester's finest have been overturned. Underdogs doing to finest what TSCI did to them. Underdogs three, Manchester's finest two. And they're going to keep that run going. It'll be 13 consecutive wins on a Friday night in Ultimate League for underdogs if they fail to concede now. Majidi. But forget about conceding, they're looking to scoring. Yasser! Yasser almost scoring an own goal there. Arm is up against uh, two uh, underdogs players. Assad. Bobby, he's on a hat trick. Ozzy. Back to Bobby. On his left foot, he likes it like this. Ozzy. Majidi, closed down immediately and fouled by Dawood. You didn't see it, Yellow, did you? You was all right then. Ozzy wants this free kick. Bobby giving Waxy an earful. Uh, blocking his eyesight. Super free kick! 4-2! Ozzy guides it home. And underdogs have surely got the victory in the bag now. Waxy... At fault there, I think. Very central. Ozzy just placed it. Um, we said it earlier in this uh, in, in this piece, in this game, that he just had to get the ball on target and the goalkeeper could be quite troublesome, could be troubled. Minaz is not impressed by the goalkeeping there. And it's 4-2 to underdogs. They've conceded 11, scored 29 with a goal difference of 18. Sahail, Jaffer, Bobby's free on this left-hand side on a hat-trick. Bobby! Waxi saves it. They fought back valiantly too, thanks to this man in large part, Bobby, who scored two goals and scored the first goal. Um, 
And for that reason, I think Bobby Rizvi is once again our man of the match. He scored the goal that triggered Underdogs' comeback. He scored a brilliant goal to put them in front at 3 2 with great footwork and burying it to the bottom corner under pressure. The eternal big match man, Bobby Rizvi, is the man of the match tonight. Oh, it's ricocheting Rasad! What a fantastic effort with the outside of his foot. I don't know who's that intended for. Aki with the defensive header. Jahan. Bobby's taking it around him. Bobby Rizvi hat trick, is it? Jahan denies him. What a comeback from the league leaders. Their 13th consecutive win on a Friday night. Um, TSCI won on the other pitch against Manchester's Cosmos. They keep their gap to five points on TSCI with the same number of games played. Uh, five points clear of Glatzkos who have got a game in hand on them. Aki, it was a valiant effort. You went 2-0 up. Uh, what changed it? No idea, to be honest. The tactics worked at the start. I guess it's a sign of champions. 2-0 um, down, they won 4-2, so well done to them. Do you think you look back at that decision when you took Alm off at 2-0? Possibly, yeah. We, everything was working fine. If only Alm had a bit more stamina. But we had to, he, was, he was gone, so we had to make the change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Could have changed the game, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Bobby Rizvi changed the game. Yeah, he's always um, top player, isn't he? So uh, he can change any game. We, to be honest, we've got to look back at ourselves, how we let in the goals. Uh, I thought if we just controlled it for a few more minutes, we would have gone on to win. All right, thank you for that. Good luck. We talk about if you're going to give it, you've got to take it back. You definitely took it on Monday and you gave it back tonight. 4-2, two, 2-0 two down. Uh, it's difficult, mate. Uh, came out strong, they had a good game plan. Caught us on the counter. We couldn't really pick up where anyone was playing, really. Uh, it was like everyone was playing in the middle, no one's in defence. But uh, it's what great players like Ozzy, Bobby, Ali Rosa can do for you, man. Majidi kept calm, kept the ball moving, kept it ticking, and we got the goals in the end. Just rewards, man. How did you explain that second goal that Manchester's finest scored? Shocking. It was. Uh, yeah, you know, Ali Majidi I, I, was I the furthest man. I, I never moved forward, I never attacked, to be honest. Um, but on this occasion, I just I don't know why I think we were just chasing the goal so much that I moved and uh, left my defence open and a uh, bit of a poor ball from me to Majidi, uh, who even if it's a poor ball normally does amazing, but um, got caught. They scored, but we showed the fight. We won it 4-2, so that's what matters, three points. They're in consecutive win on a Friday night now, so you must love your Friday night football. Definitely, definitely. Good to be playing on pitch one, to be honest. Reef sort it out, man. Well, you're playing uh, some of that next week. Some of that, who well, I've got a few mi uh, players missing. Uh, it's going to be another uh, tough challenge for you with the you, you young, in exuberant team. I think uh, everyone's sick and tired of hearing me say this, but every game is a difficult game. And uh, we're just going to take one game at a time. Some of that, ener energetic team, young. Uh, hopefully, what will beat them is our experience and their lack of experience. Um, so we'll see how it goes on Friday, man. All right, good luck. Well played today. Thank you very much, guys. See, you weren't involved today, but you showed your passion on the side on the sideline. It was a big, big victory, big comeback, two 0 down, winning four two against a good team. As an outside observer, what was the reason that you won the game? Um, I think there was good support today, more vocal on the sides from uh, myself, and uh, top performance from the lads. That's it, yeah. Was it your free kick? Wonder free kick? What were you trying to do with that? I just seen an open net. I see Waxy <laughs> stood behind him, and there's a. Clear spot well, in the corner. Was, uh, threading his eyebrows <laughs> and uh, took a few he was a bit IG lost. pictures as well during the game. I seen him posing up. Some few filters. He used to quite good, nice filters, like the angel <laughs> ones. But apart from that, he did sh nothing else, innit? No. Yeah. yeah. In all seriousness, no, Bobby, you were kept quiet, but that piece of magic, um, that was a superb goal. Yeah, you know what I'm capable of, innit? I'm young, innit? I've still got a I'm in my, I'm in my peak years, innit? No, nah, but seriously, they yourself. played well, though. Um, they defended all game. They got lucky with their goals. We made a few mistakes, but apart from that, we deserved it. We were all over them all game. Um, it was a bit of a slippy pitch today. Just ball was not great as well. But um, yeah, watch out for my little cousin here, star player, next in line. Watch out for him. Thank you very much for that, Bob. <laughs>